Oh, I can't stand when people say, I'm not going to give the devil no credit. If you don't accredit to the devil what he's responsible for, then you ain't going to rise up and be a force against him. You better give him credit for what he's responsible for. If you have an enemy soldier running at you with, like, let's use Vietnam back in the day, with the bayonet, and he's just like, charge! If you don't accredit to that soldier what is actually going on in that moment, you're going to be run over, bro. Come on. Don't give him no credit. Are you kidding to me? Are you kidding to me? <laughs> what the world? What the world? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, somebody interpret that. So anyhow, I mean, Jesus is the one that said, I have given you authority over what? The power of the enemy. Wait a minute. Jesus? Are you trying to say that the devil has power? That's what it says. Why are we called soldiers in Timothy? What the heck are we fighting? What is it? What do they call that? Shadow fighting? Shadow? Shadow boxing? <laughs> you know, you're just like you're just attacking nothing. No, that's not what you're doing. And don't let some passive Christian try to convince you that that's what you're doing either. We are in a war. And people are dying and they're being taken out. And don't let some passive, demon-filled Christian try to convince you otherwise. Wow. Ugh. That's good word. That the Bible says seducing spirits will go out in the last days and try to deceive even the elect, drudging up for themselves teachers that will tickle their ears. What do you think? I don't, I don't want to give the devil no credit. What do you think that actually is right there? Giving credit. Giving him credit. That's exactly what it is. Pretending like he's not there. Pretending like he's not there. Oh, yeah. Putting the earmuffs on. La, 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 la. You're not really there. Come on. Rise up, soldier. Rise up and step into the uniform that you've been given. Pick up your sword and begin to attack this thing because he's killing your family members. If you don't recognize the Paul's the one that said, don't you be ignorant of Satan's schemes and devices. That's what he said. Don't be ignorant of it. So when you're saying, I'm going to re digress here. When you are saying that I'm not going to give the devil any credit, what you're actually saying is that you want to remain ignorant of Satan's schemes and his devices. <clears throat> How do you not become ignorant of something? Learn about it. So while people, Christians are trying to tell you not to pay the devil no mind, not to give him any attention, the written word of God is telling you, don't you dare do that. 